I have been harping on about the fact that I've been using a face mask that is homemade for many, many years now, probably around about 10, or oh, maybe even 12, 13 years. This face mask, in my opinion, is the very best. It makes my skin feel super, super supple, and it just makes me feel invigorated. It costs very little to make, um, and so I wanna show you what it is. I talk about it in my book. I've given the recipe in my book before, but now I'm gonna show you what it is, how to make it, how I use it, uh, step by step. Currently, I'm not in my own home. I'm in Philadelphia. I'm here. Um, shooting the show um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be using my mask so this is what I do first things first I use a Greek yogurt if you don't have Faye where you are you can just get any Greek yogurt um, and then I use a green tea tea bag in a cup I add my tea bag I put in some boiling water I let that steep for like a few seconds whilst I do this so I take my lid off my yogurt, got my spoon ready. So a few seconds, this has been brewing. Bam, bam, bam. There you are. I'm going to add some cold water just so I can handle the bag. I'm gonna pour out the water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to not worry about wringing the tea bag out. All I'm gonna do is open the tea bag up and take the contents of the tea bag and put them into, into the yogurt. One tea bag and this small amount of yogurt. And if you've got a larger container of yogurt, you can just measure out a cup of yogurt. I'm gonna simply mix this up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This will store for about three weeks. So what you can do is just uh, use the amount that you need on your face. Um, cover it with some, I use some cling wrap, um, leave it in the fridge and uh, yeah, then use it once a week. So this all in all probably costs $3. My lighting in this bathroom is the worst, which I can't stand, um, but there you have it. I think I just got, oh yeah, I just got so we all got on my butt. Great. Um, so always classy. Remember, I always keep it classy. I'm gonna wash my face just to get rid of any oils. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly do that now. I'm just gonna use water, nothing else. Um, I'm gonna use very, very warm water. Boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo. We're gonna wait until that heats up a little bit. And then whilst that's happening, you can just let's see my triceps, yes. We've worked really hard on them, it's time to show them off. We're doing all we can to keep up with the pressures of this industry. Looks so good. <laughs> I'm just using a spatula that I have. You can use a spoon, you don't need a spatula. I just go pretty thick all over my face. I'm gonna smooth it out in the mirror in a second. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna get too much on uh, the bottom part of my face just because I've got my, I'm kind of doing a scruff thing right now. Um, and I don't usually have any issues with that part of my face. And I kind of get all the way up into the, well, as close to my eye as I can without getting it into my eye. I've got real issues with um, how my eyes look, like my dark skin, oh, my dark circle, sorry, under my eyes. Um, and so I get under as much as possible, like you can see there. Kind of looks like that moment in Mrs. Doubtfire. Um, where she's got that um, cream on her face and she says, one number two, one number two. And then it falls into the drink. I leave this on my face uh, for about 10 minutes. Um, no more than 10 minutes, actually. If you leave it on your face for longer than 10 minutes, it's actually gonna start to burn and it's gonna sting. The first time you use it, it will, uh, your face will feel a little tender afterwards. Don't worry about it, that subsides um, after a few minutes. Just it, it cleanse, tone, moisturize after that, after you've uh, washed this off, and then you should start to feel uh, a lot more comfortable after a couple of minutes. Um, but it should leave your skin feeling really supple. If you've got super, super sensitive skin, this might not be for you. But if you haven't, if you've just got normal skin or combination skin or uh, skin issues, you should be fine at that point. All right, kids, it's been about 10 minutes, so time to scrape it off. Again, you can use a spoon to do this. You don't have to use one of these, but I wet this just a little bit 
And then I go across my face and simply scrape the whole thing off. Takes a couple of minutes. The reason why I don't just try and wash it off is because it's yogurt and so it kind of just smears across my face a lot and it takes a lot longer. So, and there's so much of it. So, I spend time just taking it off with a spatula first. And then I wash my face afterwards. It makes it so much easier and so much cleaner. God, it's hard to do in a camera as opposed to a mirror. So you can see I have most of it off and now I'm going to simply wash it off with water. I use really warm water and then, I've shown you this before, but I use my Tata Harper skin, um, uh, uh, blah, 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 cleanser, thanks. Turn that there so you can see. It's gonna be really sexy. And by sexy, I mean just not good to look at, but here you go. I washed off with hot water my, the yogurt, and then with cold water, as cold as I can get it, I washed off the cleanser. Now my skin is feeling absolutely gorge. It feels really soft. Um, it feels really invigorated. And now I'm gonna go in and add all my lotions, potions, creams. I've just got like three or four. Um, and if you wanna know what they are, go to my last YouTube post and I mention what they are. And that's it, super simple. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe, like, um, and comment below. I wanna know if you actually do try it, uh, what you think of it. I've had so many people uh, DM me on Instagram, let me know that they use this now and they love it. And so I hope you love it too. Thanks for watching. Bye.